Ah, uh, you sexy motherfuckers. Let's uh, start up a little new style of video. Uh, I'm just gonna spit some BS and like some random topic, and then I'll just have a little workout edit at the end. But yeah, let's get to it. All right, so today's little talk is basically gonna be about uh, fear of failure and like not wanting to fail. But yeah, it makes sense that you don't want to fail because failing sucks. But honestly, you should seek failure in the sense that you're trying and you're putting yourself out there and you're so outside of your comfort zone that you would fail because 90% of people don't even set themselves to the point where they could fail. You stay in their comfort zones. So honestly, if you're failing, like failure is progress because you're just putting yourself out there to that point because everyone wants success in something that whatever they want success in and people are scared of failure. But failure is honestly good it just means that you are actually trying and honestly if you're young bro just go take those risks go try whatever the fuck you want to try and fail and then try again to succeed and you just gotta do that shit bro like it doesn't matter you could be fucking 20 years old try doing something for like three years and fail and you're also still 23 and you can try again and get yourself back up and you know you could try shit you got time bro and it's better to try and fail than when you're fucking 80 years old be looking back and like damn i wish i actually like chased my dreams you know and as like a and honestly like when you fail at something like you can kind of realize like do i want to do this do i not want to do this do i want to follow a different path and it's not necessarily quitting if you just you try something and you fail you try again and it's just like you don't see yourself doing it you don't have that vision and yeah maybe it's quitting but i feel like as a personal example i used to be like really like passionate about soccer right from like i started pretty late seriously playing soccer at like 14 but i had uh, played my entire childhood in brazil once i moved to the u.s and i started playing it for like a club i was like actually like 14 and then i tried out for soccer and i didn't make the team which was like i was like mad about it but i had also like never played competitively and then i joined a club and i played for like another year and then i made the team and then the next year i just stopped playing and it's just like it's honestly good that i tried because that's like it was way out of my comfort zone to like play a sport in like a different country and stuff There's no future in it for me and it's good that i realized it earlier but even though i'm glad that i tried it you know so i stopped playing soccer and i focused more on working out which became like a new passion of mine and then i also picked up youtube again i used to have a youtube channel when i was like 10 years old and then i tried it again and i've been doing it this channel i haven't uploaded to as much but i do have a brazilian channel which is where i'm from I'm from Brazil and that's around like 50k and I'm so glad that I've been able to like build up that following and like motivate people but it's like some videos do well some videos don't you just have to put yourself out there see how it does and then learn from it and you have to do that with everything in life and just try again and again and it, honestly like you just gotta keep going bro just keep trying keep growing and don't be scared to fail because failure is progress and uh yeah let's get to the the workout edit now i hope y'all enjoyed the little talk a little bit cringe but yeah i mean i feel like a lot of people need to hear that and i need to hear that more just take risks while you're young because it's the time to do it baby let's get to work I saw you, just come to me.